Hi guys, I'm Alexander Kuzhenkov and I am one of the developers of Grid Game Control Center. Monitoring is critical for distributed databases and there are a lot of tools for that. You may use Grafana and Prometheus for metrics collection or for example Zabbix for alerts, but it can be still not enough for troubleshooting complicated problems. Now I will introduce you the tool that includes all these features for cluster monitoring but also can be used as an additional tool in your setup for troubleshooting and managing Apache Ignite and GridGain clusters. It is GridGain Control Center. Let's get started. Setup of connection to control center is pretty simple. We just need to download control center agent library and add it to libs folder. For grid gain it is already in the optional folder. And start the cluster. Waiting for startup. And that's it. Our agent has connected to the hosted version of Control Center. It is software as a service, so you can just use it without any installation. Control Center agent has printed a link. Let's click on it to attach the cluster to our user. Now we are in Control Center. Control Center is designed and architected by those who keep hundreds of Ignite and Grid Gain deployments uninterrupted. We know what will be useful for our users to investigate problems and get feedback constantly. And we add features that other tools don't have at all, like this rebalance widget. Let's take a quick look at the product functionality. Here is the dashboard section where users can add widgets that contain charts. Then go to alert section. It is a necessary part of any monitoring system to react to a disaster immediately. In the next videos you will see how easy you can add alerts with SMS or email notifications. Traces. Traces are helpful when we need to investigate complicated problems. They show time of completed actions on each node in the distributed system. To run SQL queries you do not need an additional tool. All you need is here. Control Center shows the plan of a query and information such as current running queries and much more. Snapshot creation, cache management, all these things can be managed with Control Center. We will go deep through all these sections later on in the next videos of this series. And finally, cluster management itself. In Control Center you can run commands like activate, deactivate a cluster, decide which node should be included in baseline topology and so on. Thus, even if you have already a monitoring system setup, Control Center will greatly facilitate troubleshooting and cluster management. Or you can build all your monitoring and managing systems based on Control Center. Do you have any questions? Please ask me in the comments. See you in the next videos where we will go deep in Control Center functionality.